Hey, this is Jeremiah from Born to Win Ministries. I want to say God bless you. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. And if you saw the title of the message or you saw the thumbnail on YouTube or Rumble or Facebook or wherever else you are watching this, you'll know that today's video is a very special video because what I've got is a prophetic prayer for the United States of America. Now, I originally received uh, this prayer as a strategy all the way back in January of 2021. And uh, I shared it over social media. I made different posts about it. Many people shared it. Many people downloaded a copy that I put on the website I had at that point. Uh, so I'm not bragging on this saying, oh, well, it was so popular and all this is. No, it's a pivotal prayer that we're allowed to pray over the United States of America. And even if you're watching me outside of the U.S., you can adapt this and pray it over your country as well no matter what the governmental structure. And I'm going to tell you why. The Word of God says two things. Number one, it says in Matthew 18, 19, whatever two of us here on earth can find to touch and agree on, God will do it. He will honor our prayer of agreement. But also, and very importantly, according to Job twenty two twenty eight in the Amplified Classic, it said you would decide and decree a thing, and it shall be established for you, and the light of my favor will shine on your way. I want God's favor. The favor of God is something mighty. It's something you need to take hold of a revelation of. And I'll teach you on that on another time. Before today's message, this is a prophetic decree. It's a prophetic prayer for the United States of America. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to read this exactly as the Lord gave it to me all the way back in January of 2021. We're going to hear it. We're going to make this decree together. And what I want you to do is you listen to this video uh, as much as you want to, or as much as the Lord leads you to, and just thank the Lord. Uh, because the thing is, you have to believe you receive when you pray. You have to believe that when you've decreed it, it will be established. So it's not something we're going to go saying every single day. We're going to be praying every single day. We go back and look at this in Thanksgiving because we know what we've decreed must be established. So let me read this to you. Let's make this prophetic decree over the United States of America, and I'll have uh, some closing remarks before I end the video. So here's this decree. It was given to me on January 27th of 2021. This first portion is a word from the Lord. It says, stop, over th stop thinking over things and hear the wisdom that comes from me alone. You've been too tied up with what's happening that you're not commanding what's supposed to happen. You've become a passenger on the ride you're on instead of being the conductor. Have I not said in my word that you would decree a thing and it shall be established? If you hate what is established, rewrite it. America, America, hear the word of the Lord. Hear what I say to you. As a hen gathers her chicks, that's how I'm gathering you now. For you say, there's no change, God. There's no reformation. There's no goodness to see. But lest you forget, I'm not in the loudness of the season. I'm in the still of the small voice. I remind you now, America, that the reformation is nigh even in your mouth. For too long you've seen and dealt with what you've seen, but remember... You are made in my image, my likeness, and you deal in my creativity. I create with my words, every syllable must be obeyed. I've given this power to you, use it. And don't just be loud, be bold. For even a rat with a megaphone can sound intimidating, but volume does not equal power. You have to speak calmly and boldly, and yes, that is when the mountain shall be moved. Stop agreeing with what is happening in your nation. Do not believe the lie that you are at the mercy of your politicians, for they are at the mercy of your mercy. You have chosen them, anointed them, if you will, by your choice. Force their hand to represent yours. Stop seeing the strife and start declaring this word over your nation. So this is the decree. I take my authority in Jesus' name to bind the enemy from operating in our highest offices in the land today. 
I declare that no weapon formed against our government, livelihoods, and destiny shall prosper, and the plans of the enemy will fall apart quickly and expose the demons behind it by my decree. The White House will be a tabernacle of the Holy One. It shall be sanctified and cleansed. The House of Representatives is a tabernacle of the Lord of Hosts. It shall be sanctified and cleansed. The United States Senate is a tabernacle of the King of Kings. It shall be sanctified and cleansed. The United States Supreme Court is a tabernacle of the judge of all the earth who does right. It shall be sanctified and cleansed. I am blood bought by Jesus of Nazareth. I am appointed and anointed to decree and declare what shall come to pass, and nothing leaves the offices of the land without my approval and my consent. I shall agree or disagree based on the power vested in me as a representative of the Lord God Almighty. Do not cease to decree this. Don't grow slack when the pressure of this current election season is off. You will now have to enforce your own victories. Now rest in your restoration, America. Land that I love, you shall not be mended. You shall be reformed. Now that's the word that came from the Lord. Again, this is all the way back in January, end of January of 2021. The restoration of the United States of America has been on the Lord's mind since its inception. He saw these days were coming. He saw the people that would be in office. That's why God gave our founding fathers the wisdom, insight, and direction to make the Constitution of the United States, the Declaration of Independence, everything that makes our country the country that it is. Now, this is what I want to tell you. And I want to close this video because I want it short because honestly, I want shareability to be more likely on social media, online, wherever I post this. Here's the thing. We are people who have power. We are not powerless. The Lord always gives seed to sow, and the seed we have in the United States of America is our vote. And the Word of God declares over seed time and harvest this one thing. Do not get weary in well-doing, for you will reap a harvest if you faint not. I'll tell you, the votes that I've been voting for a long time now, Every vote has been cast with a harvest of righteousness, of restoration, and like the Lord said in this word, reformation in our country for a long time. And I know that my seeds are never unfruitful. They will bring righteousness, restoration, reformation. It will all come to this country because I don't want my country to be a great country for the best interest of me. I'm looking to the generations ahead. I'm looking to the three children I have here at home that should be raised in a nation where godliness prevails, where righteousness is exalted in a nation, where its politicians aren't actively trying to destroy and steal from them. They're actively trying to empower them to prosper. So I just thank the Lord and I, I've got the, uh, there's just power all over this video. I know it. And so what I want to leave you with is this, your vote is not worthless. Your vote could be the deciding factor in any race that you're in. So I implore you today, don't withhold your seed. For the word of God says that he who withholds his seed, it will tend to poverty. If you withhold more than his meat, it will tend to poverty. If you're impoverished in the nation, it's because there's been a withholding of the seed that should be sown. That seed is your vote. So again, find out where your polling places are. Go get voting. Vote for righteousness to be exalted in the nation. Vote for biblical principles. Just think of it this way. If Jesus had my vote, who would he vote for and how would he vote? God is all about the opposite of stealing, killing, and destroying. He wants life and life more abundantly. So I'm going to end this video now so I can put it as many places as I can. I want you to know I love you. God bless you. And if you want to find out more about this decree and download a copy, go to borntowinministries.org. Goodbye.